Hey guys, Chance here. Um, today's a new day, but we're still working on the Civic. Right now we're working on the bumper support for it. We're gonna cut some holes in it so we can get some airflow through it. Uh, Cause as you can see over here, we don't have it on yet, but the intercooler is gonna go right in front of the radiator. We need some airflow for the fans and everything. So we're gonna cut some holes in the bumper support. To let some air go through, we could slap it on, but I think we're gonna paint it first uh, with some bed liner stuff, truck bed liner. Yeah, we figured uh, really easy, cheap, free, basically, if you already have the tool you need, yeah. way to... Uh, but we don't, we have to get a hole saw. Yeah, so I mean, we'll spend a few bucks on it and we'll, we'll increase airflow, probably a good amount. So if you guys wanna increase your airflow to your car, um, and you need to take your bumper off and get to it for whatever reason like us. And uh, since this car is, you know, meant to look pretty decent, uh, we're going to measure and cut all the holes in equal distance, because symmetry. Uh, we were guessing probably 10 holes across this entire thing. So we're gonna do some math, some quick maths. Quick maths. 2 plus 2 is 4, minus 1 is 3, quick maths. But uh, yeah, we're going to do some math and then they'll tell us how far in between we uh, need to cut them and we can show you guys after that once we get back. So it's the following day, I got the wrong hole saw so I had to return it the next day which is today and get a new one. So we're back now and uh, we have the bumper marked out for where we're going to drill it. So I'm just gonna take this tool and punch out the center hole so that way the hole saw can grab onto something. And just do that down all of them. It works good. Yeah. It's also good for tattoos. I'm just kidding, don't do that. Let's say what? Oh yeah, we got an inch and a quarter size hole saw to do this too. again. Look at that. I'm gonna do it till it bursts into flames. Have it burn! So today's a new day. We had to get a new drill from Harbor Brake. Um, this one started to smoke, and they saw some of it in the last clip. Oh, it yeah, looked even did. worse, though. But yeah, afterwards it started smoking even more. So we left it outside in the cold. We might try it again one day, but just in case. Just for the hell of it. Just for the hell of it. But we got this new one. It's a little bit more powerful. This. Uh, hole saw that was getting kind of dull so I don't even know if we'll be able to finish but we're gonna try so let's get to it sanding it
So we broke all the bits we had yesterday. So today's a new day, part four. Um, I got some Milwaukee bits this time and I got a new hole saw. So hopefully this shit works. Meow, meow. Alrighty, we got the uh, bumper finally cut out and I finished deburring it. So now it just needs to be sprayed and we got some truck bed liner for that. Here is the end result. I actually think it looks not bad. And especially since it's gonna be behind the bumper, like that bumper, uh, you're not even gonna see it. But I still think it looks kinda cool. Uh, as for the oil pan that dad was taking off just a little while ago, he got the bung cut out, or he got the cutout for the bung, and he got that put on. And we're just using a, a screw on bung with a gasket on either side. And some people might be like, oh, why don't you weld it? Well, because we're not that good yet. And we're just, you know, just gonna do this for now. And once we get better at it, we can weld it to make it look good and be functional because we want to have some good looking welds on there too. And we just don't want to mess with it. So I'm just going to put this back on the bottom of the block so nothing is uh, getting up into the bottom of the block. Thanks for watching.